We welcome in one of our favorite people, BYU basketball radio analyst, Cougar Ironman, Mark Durant is back on the show. Mark, it's great to have time to have a full conversation with you today. Yeah, I, I'm sure the people really called in and demanded that I get more time to say what I have to think about it. And I, I'm impressed with your sources, Spencer. I, the only source I have is that I'm going to have hamburgers for dinner tonight. And that's Let's from go, my baby. wife. And she, she's a good source. So. Uh, this is uh, this is all exciting and new and happening and and uh, it's it's good to see some maybe some positive news rather than th what we've seen the last uh, week or so. Well, Mark, it is a mix of emotions for sure, as you referenced for BYU fans as they navigate through this this chasm of losing Mark Pope and Dallin Hall potentially and Richie Saunders and Ali Khalifa and now Colin Chandler's gone for sure. But then there's this news, like this light at the end of the tunnel, perhaps, that, man, BYU's going to get a big-time guy from the NBA. So how are you traversing through the mixed emotions of everything that has happened over the last 72 hours? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like Ron Burgundy in a glass cage of emotion. I just <laughs> I don't know how to handle, handle all this. You know, waking up to the Colin Chandler news was, was really rough because that was really my fear all along, obviously, I like Mark Pope, loved the guy, and thought he was a great coach. But, you know, you can bring in good coaches. And uh, I was just worried that uh, him leaving, he would he would take some of our best players. And obviously, Colin's one of the best recruits ever. And and uh, take him, and, and that's happened. So that was very difficult to swallow that because those kind of recruits – uh, don't come along very often and and usually don't commit to BYU. So so that was a, a, a real problem. But I you know, I, I try not to get too down about uh, all of these things because things change so quickly. Uh, is it evident by your show today? I mean, things can can really change. And uh, you know, if BYU does get a, a Kevin Young. I mean, that's a that's an amazing get because. In in the world today, people are flocking to the NBA, not the other way around. I mean, college basketball, that's a tough gig. So that would show me, if it was a Kevin Young, that he was really committed to wanting this job. I mean, you have to really want it. And uh, that's exciting. And someone like that would have amazing NBA connections. And, and Spencer and Jeremy, as you know, every young kid that comes in wants to play in the show. And, and if a coach can say, hey, I, I worked with this guy and he's my buddy and I know this guy. And if you want to get to the show, here's what you need to do. I mean, that's that's a great selling point. So maybe you lose a few guys that you didn't want to lose. But bringing in, in a guy like Kevin Young, maybe you get some guys that you didn't think you could get. Uh, and so things change. And uh, I'm just happy to see whatever happens that BYU is acting quickly and uh, they need to do that. And, and so then you can start building on some positive momentum. Which is wild because it, if, if it is indeed Kevin Young, as, as there are messages and, and uh, speculation and text, they're preparing for the Timberwolves on Saturday. Like they, they are in the playoff hunt. It is busy and it will have accelerated. And the timing needs to be quick here, Mark, because like you talked about, there are guys that are in the portal. They're dipping their toes in. For, for some, it may be more than that to see what NIL money is out there. Who's the head coach? You just don't know. But once you get that head coach, Mark, it answers a lot of questions. Then you can s start to secure things. So if it is Kevin Young, is he, is he the right fit? Is he the guy for BYU basketball? Well, yeah, I mean, to your point about acting quickly, if, if players decide it's in their best interest to leave, uh, I can live with that. But I don't want them to make that decision in, in a vacuum. I want them to have all of the information. So if BYU has a coach and, and they decide, well, that coach is not right for me, and then make the decision, uh, that's fine. But I don't want them making a decision because I don't know who my coach is. I've got to act. Uh, I'm losing money here. I'm losing opportunities. And I don't want that to happen. So let's just say it is Kevin Young. He comes in uh, and, you know, he's had some pretty elite level coaching associations in the NBA. Uh, he's played, he's coached incredible players and has seen 
you know, what, what it takes to be good and is very knowledgeable about the game. One of the exciting things almost about it is that I don't know a lot about him. So I don't have any negative things, obviously. It's just exciting to think a guy that has was just barely up for the Nets job this week is now thinking about coming to BYU. And that's a, that's a testament to, to what BYU is becoming and the resources that they are able to put on the table now, which they haven't in the past, uh, to, to entice someone like that. Um, so I think it's all, all good news. But, but to your original point, it needs to happen, whether it's Kevin Young or Chris Burgess or whoever. BYU needs to make it happen quickly. And in the past, maybe you had some time to do those kind of things. It's not the world anymore. You have to act quickly so kids can make decisions with all of the information at hand. Yeah, that's a great point, Mark, because even in 2019 when Mark Pope was hired, NIL was really an unknown thing. Like it all has happened in the last four years that has changed the entire landscape of college sports, certainly basketball and football being the big money sports. And so, yeah, BYU trying to act quickly. I do want to push pause on Kevin Young for just a moment because, as you said, you love Mark Pope. He was a great coach at BYU. There are a lot of BYU fans that are bent out of shape, and I get why that Mark hasn't said anything publicly on social media or in the press about BYU specifically or his time at BYU. So are you past that emotionally? Are you good with it? Is there closure? Or are you still hoping that maybe there is something coming? Because I just don't think that that's going to happen now. Let me preface this, Spencer, by saying I love Mark Pope. He's a good friend. His wife is an angel. His kids are amazing. I love everything he did for BYU. With that said, he's being a jerk to BYU right now. And I say that with love. It's not, a, that's his job to be a jerk to BYU. He was a jerk to UVU when he left because he took some of their best players. He's in a situation, when he was here at BYU, he was 100% committed to making BYU better. And I love him for that. But he is now at UK. His commitment is 100% to UK. He will take whoever he can get. He will take any recruit he can get. And he, he doesn't care. His, his commitment now is UK, and that's what you want from your head coach, to be ruthless about it. <laughs> and he's got a lot of money on the line and a lot of pressure. And a week ago, Kentucky was in the same spot, basically, that BYU is. They were losing recruits. They, they, you know, they didn't know who their coach was going to be. So Mark Pope comes in. He's scrambling to put together a team so he can be successful. And I don't begrudge him that. I'm not mad at him about that. But the fact is he's killing BYU right now with what he's doing. Um, but that's his job. And so I love him. And I could be mad about him you know, taking recruits. Those aren't mutually exclusive. I'll always love him. But he's a UK guy now. And so we need to act like he's doing everything he can uh, to hurt us. And that's, again, that's his job. We're not, we're not begrudging him that. But now it's time for BYU to take action and, and, and do what they need to do to protect themselves and for this new coach, whoever it be, to be successful. And he needs to be ruthless. I mean, we're not going to get any Suns players, I don't think, to come back to <laughs> BYU. Hey. But, but uh, you know, that's what... That's the name of the game. That's what Coach Pope is incredibly driven to be successful. And he wants nothing more than to bring national championships to UK. So he will do anything that he can. And BYU fans can be mad at it if you want. You have a right to be. But now it's just about he's gone. And let's let's find somebody else and, and, and make it happen here. Well said. If it is Kevin Young. Do, uh, doesn't have the college kind of, uh, you know, uh, roots in there uh, with recruiting and whatnot in the state of Utah or the LDS kids or whatever. Um, what kind of assistant coach or assistant coaches would you like to see potentially if Kevin Young is the guy? Because I would love to have Burge back on the staff, but I don't know that he's going to laterally move from assistant to assistant, even if, say, his pay has doubled, but that would be awesome. I'd love to see Burgess back. That seems like it would be a hard thing to do. Yeah. Um, for him, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I know 
I, I believe that he really wanted the head coach job. So that's another thing. Uh, if you don't get it, are you willing to be an assistant? But I, I think Kevin Young will bring in someone and give them a lot of responsibility, whether it's Chris Burgess or Cody Figure. I'd like to see someone with institutional knowledge and relationships with the existing players. So Nick Robinson, Cody Figure, Chris Burgess, I think would be great if you can get them. But sometimes it's hard. They they have aspirations and and it's hard to take a second seat again. But there's I think if, if you can bring in some guys with institutional knowledge to help maintain existing relationships and then bring in some new and exciting coaching talent that maybe BYU is not aware of that Kevin has associations with or uh, through the league or otherwise. I mean, once you're a coach, you, you, you meet a lot of coaches. And if you could bring in some exciting uh, assistant coaches uh, and have that kind of mix, I think would be ideal, but we'll see how it transpires. We got an official uh, word, Mark, from Adrian Wojnarowski, a Woj Woj bomb. bomb. Woj Woj bomb live. Okay, from Woj himself. Wow. Phoenix Suns associate head coach Kevin Young is finalizing a long-term deal to become the next coach at Brigham Young University. Boom. An aggressive wow. push to hire the NBA's highest paid assistant lands BYU its top target. I don't know how much more official it gets than a Woj th bomb, th Mark. This is happening. It's That's Ryan it. Smith and it's Danny Ainge making this happen, man. Wow. Well, that's, I mean, that's, hey, that's exciting, guys. And I was on your show when it happened. And yes. uh, Kevin Young is now my favorite person in the world. <laughs> I don't know much about him, but he's my favorite person. And he, 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 listen, Danny Ainge and Ryan Smith are doing great things. For you to be able to lure the highest paid NBA assistant to the wow. college ranks. Amazing. That is remarkable. And what great, great news for BYU, and BYU needed it, and I'm I'm just thrilled about it. Wow, it's exciting, guys. I, I don't I don't know that we ever imagined one we'd have a woge bomb about BYU, and two they wouldn't <laughs> happen live on the show with you, Mark, which is amazing. Okay, now we can talk about it like it like it's impending and it's going to happen. Kevin Young's the guy, and so BYU made this so quickly. I am so happy at how quickly this happened, and now BYU can start to get a staff. Now those conversations can happen with recruits like we were talking about. The speed of this is what impresses me the most, and, and perhaps maybe the ability to get a guy like Kevin Young. We were talking about how we felt like it was a pipe dream. How do you get a guy who's almost a Nets coach or maybe almost a Hornets coach or whatnot? And who knows, maybe he is a future NBA coach still. Let's not act like Mark Pope was the only situation that may happen in the future for BYU. This, this is pretty incredible, incredible that Kevin Young is going to be the next coach at BYU based on what Adrian Wojnarowski just tweeted. Well, I think that says a lot about BYU where they're at. I mean, first of all, for, for Mark Pope to be a candidate for UK says a lot about BYU. And then for BYU to bring in a, play, a coach like Kevin Young, uh, it says that BYU is, is really stepping up to the plate in a lot of ways and committed to being not just good, but great. Uh, this is super exciting. Uh, He's a young guy and uh, I think uh, has shown that he's driven and, and successful and will do whatever it takes, like I was saying, to be, to be ruthless in being great. And, and I, I'm excited about that. I, I always like the idea of a young, uh, to a certain extent unproven in the college ranks coach coming in because they really have a drive to show what they can do. So this is thrilling. Uh, I'm excited for Coach Young to get to know him. And uh, what what a great morning for, for BYU fans. It started out uh, in a pr pretty dismal manner, has now turned the corner. And now you can really plan for your future and, and do things, uh, uh, whatever you need to do now with existing players and, and coaching staff. I mean, congrats to BYU, who's notoriously slow in, in getting people through this process. Congrats to Tom Homo and Brian Santiago and others and uh, the LDS Church for, you know, making it happen. I mean, that's pretty remarkable to get it done that quickly, and it needed to be done, and they did it. All right, Mark, uh, I want you to celebrate with just something delicious to eat tonight, you and Marilee. Just go somewhere nice and celebrate this great news, man. This We're turning this into a great day. So listen, my sources tell me my hamburger just went to a steak. This is good news. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's go. Mark, great to talk to you, man. Appreciate the time. See you guys.